small hall of the Free Presbyterian Church from this grander Victorian building, David Armstrong's Presbyterian Church, known as First Limavady. And it's only a short walk across the road to the new and flourishing Catholic Church. Until two years ago, these three ministries kept resolutely apart. Then, at Christmas in 1983, David Armstrong made a gesture of friendship towards the local Catholic curate and congregation that angered some of his own church elders. He indulged in an exchange of Christmas greetings. I received a marvellous ovation. It really was. It was most moving. Um, people coming over just to simply say that this was the happiest Christmas that they ever had in the Mavadi. I think David, um, David himself summed up, he was, he was so full of joy that the thing happened. As I was finishing Mass, I saw David's congregation just leaving. You can see straight through the glass wall at the back of the church. And as our procession moved from the altar to the back, suddenly David was in the back porch. Mr Armstrong has countenanced the Mass and given credence to it. Now, if he's honest, he should say, I'm not a Presbyterian in the sense that I subscribe to be. Now, if he's honest, he should um, vacate his post. Armstrong's own church elders were also furious and voted to censure him, but his congregation disagreed, supporting him, and the Presbyterian church elders then backed down. David Armstrong soldiered on and until recently said he was determined to stay. Last Christmas he repeated the exchange of greetings with the Catholics and only last month he went with Father Mullum, the Catholic, to the United States to preach reconciliation and to persuade Irish Americans not to fund the IRA. Once again, the elders disapproved and brought the matter before the local governing presbytery. And although one of the elders told us tonight that at no time did they demand Mr Armstrong's removal, the minister himself seems to have decided that he'd had enough. Today, a petition signed by 173 members of David Armstrong's congregation has been sent to the presbytery asking for the elders to be replaced. Well, tonight, Limavady's Catholic priest, Father Kevin Mullen, told us, deep down, I'm a little angry. Angry that people feel he's betrayed the Protestant religion by being friendly with Catholics. The Presbyterian Church in Northern Ireland traces its origins back to the so-called Westminster Confession of Faith in 1644, which refers to the Pope as the Antichrist. There's traditionally been a bitter divide between its doctrines and Roman Catholicism. The man who's about to take over as the moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Northern Ireland, Robert Dickinson, told us tonight, Mr Armstrong is a fine young man, but he may not have acted wisely. I certainly wouldn't have found it possible to attend a Roman Catholic service. Well, now, David Armstrong, what has happened to make you change your mind and decide not to stay in Limavady? Mm, you highlighted it uh, there tonight, Peter. Uh, when you were talking about uh, last Christmas, you see the second Christmas that uh, Father Kevin and I exchanged our greetings, there was a free Presbyterian, that's a Reverend Paisley uh, congregation. They held what was almost the equivalent of a street cabaret outside on that Christmas morning. And as well as that, some months later, Father Kevin and I, we made a trip to Massachusetts pleading for work to come to our community and pleading for Americans not to send us weapons. And the pressure and the tension and the hassle coming from Protestant people uh, caused me to come to a conclusion some five weeks ago that I was prepared to leave the country within 24 hours. Indeed, I did make a telephone call to Michael Green at Oxford and Teddy Saunders uh, just uh, that they would make arrangements to receive my wife and family. So it has been uh, Protestant hassle. Secondly, provisional bombs. We had a bomb just signed.